Now, as tensions reach a boiling point in West Asia, Iran has rejected calls by the U.S. and others to stand down from its threat to retaliate against Israel for the killing of Hamas's political leader, Ismail Haniyeh. This is Biden made several calls, clobbering up support to exert pressure on Iran. Hours after, the British Prime Minister Keir Starmer talked to the Iranian President Masoud Pezizkian as part of efforts to de-escalate tensions in West Asia. Now, according to the UK Prime Minister's office, Starmer told the Iranian president that he was deeply concerned by the situation in the region and called on all parties to de-escalate to avoid further regional confrontation. Starmer held a 30-minute phone call with uh, Pezizkian after speaking with the US President Joe Biden as well as the leaders of France, Germany and Italy. The leaders of these five countries later issued a joint statement asking Iran to stand down on its threats. Iran rejected the call, saying the declaration lacks political logic and constitutes public and practical support for Israel. President Biden spoke today with France, Germany, Italy and the United Kingdom to discuss the situation in the Middle East and ongoing efforts to de-escalate tensions and reach a ceasefire and hostage deal in Gaza. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken dialed up his Turkish counterpart as well to talk about the scheduled ceasefire talks between Israel and Hamas on August 15th. The U.S. State Department said that Blinken discussed the importance of Hamas attending the summit in Doha or in Cairo. Hamas has said it is not refusing to participate in the ceasefire talks, but feels the current situation does not require a new round of negotiations. It called on mediators to coax Israel into agreeing to the updated proposal it had submitted in early July. The Biden administration has said it is still expecting Gaza peace talks to move forward as planned, adding that it believes that a ceasefire agreement is still possible. I'm aware of those comments from Hamas, and we fully expect uh, talks to move forward, as they should. Uh, all negotiators should return to the table and bring this deal to conclusion. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.